Okay, just to make sure we review what we've got, we've got our last leg bolt in here. We've got our two half inch bolts here that fasten everything together with the spacer properly installed. We've got our ground wire installed, the credit card reader plugged into the USB port, and the 12 pin connector plugged properly in here. One thing you want to make sure is that this false stop cable stays intact and is in good, good shape because if this was to come off, there's a possibility the door could fall open and damage the credit card reader. At this point, we're ready to determine where the power wire is going to come into our jukebox. The power wire can either come in from the bottom or through the top. In both cases, there's mouse hole access. In the bottom of the currency module, there's another mouse hole which we can pass our power cord up into or if you want to bring power in from the top of the jukebox, again, there's another mouse hole up here that you can open up and pass a power cord in or speaker wires, whatever you're going to do. In our installation here today, we're going to run the power cord in through the bottom mouse hole. So you pass the power cord in, Again, this goes through the mouse hole with the other wires that come through the currency box. This gets routed around the core computer to the left and it plugs into the bottom of the power supply like this. You may want to take the power cord and clamp it into the wire clamp to keep it from moving. Once that's done, close off the mouse holes again. your power cord is installed. The last step is to install the bill box and close up the currency box. Alright, the next step is to install the door. Now the door just slides on the two hinges on the cabinet, but there's this trick to lining it up and making it work. I always put my left hand on the top outside corner of the door and my right hand down by this hinge. When I lift up the door, I'm then able to steady the hinge and position it just above the pin so then I can line up the top hinge and start the top hinge first. It's a little bit longer and drops on just like that. Now once the door is on, then we can take the wiring from the cabinet and route it into the first cable clamp. The USB cable stays up on top on this monitor. There's an alternate monitor with a fan up here and if that's the design you have this cable plugs in the bottom. We'll put the video cable connector in here and tighten its screws. The power cord plugs in the excess cord can be stored behind the sheet metal panel here. And these two wires go over to the interface to the lighting assembly and they get secured by these two cable clamps, like so. And that concludes the basic installation of an NGX jukebox.